Alrighty, Josh Ruben from East West Alien Performance. I'm back. I've been in New York City for the past seven days teaching the Holistic Lifestyle Coach for the uh, Level 2. Level 2 for Checking Institute. It was a great course, great students. I loved it. I had a great time. I compare New York City to Gotham City. It is amazing. I don't even know how people survive there. If you ate organic food and lived a healthy lifestyle, you'd still have high blood pressure and high cholesterol and probably die at the age of 40. But that's beside the point. We did a lot of sightseeing, saw Billy Elliot, amazing, amazing place, but I'm really glad to be back in San Diego, breathing fresh air, and just feeling a little bit more relaxed. So, before I go into my little tidbit today, I've been away, you know, I haven't had many YouTube clips out, I'm trying to get back into the rhythm here. Don't forget to check out our website at eastwesthealing.com. You can connect through our website to our blog, Blog Talk, our Facebook, um, our YouTube, on and on and on. we got hundreds of free articles and all that. And stay tuned over the next two, three, four months. We're actually working on a ton of ebooks, a separate website where we're going to actually host. We will have a 12 part series of ebooks that we're actually going to produce, as well as many other great ebooks that we feel are worthy of going on our site. So don't forget to check that out. It'll all be posted on all of our things. Look us up on Facebook as well. Facebook us, friend us. We want to be friends with you, so be friends with us. Today I want to talk about just something simple. Well, I guess maybe it is simple. I don't know. I feel like I'm playing tennis with my head. But the funny thing is I relearned this weekend when I was teaching is this is a great book for all you practitioners out there, anyone that really wants to understand the body more. It's called um, Chronic Emotional Stress of Daily Life Physically Mimics Chronic Injury Aches and Pains by Asavir Arat. He was an MD. And don't ask me to spell it or say it ten times fast because I can't. The interesting thing about this book, I'm really just going to break it down as simple as I can. And I know I always say that and I use big words, but like I said, I like big words. He shows how a particular part of the brain, the emotional system, we call the limbic system, limbic system, is actually attached um, to your nervous system. Part of the nervous system called the gamma motor neuron system, big words, love them, don't worry about it. Just think emotional system attached to different nerves. These, ner these nerves make their way to the muscle spindles in your muscles. You have Golgi tendons, um, you have different receptors, you have muscle, spin muscle spindles. Muscle spindles actually respond to change in length in muscle. But he shows in this book how emotional stress, emotional stress can actually, which is activates the limbic system, attaches to the gamma motor neuron system, causes an increased excitatory response which can, which can actually activate these spindles and create adhesions in your muscles. Now the question is, how many people get soft tissue work or massage because they have stress in their shoulders, pain in their neck, and on and on and on? I used to, and all you guys do. The funny thing is, what if you're getting massage and that's actually band-aiding the issue? Because just like chiropractic work, how many are you going for massage one week, gets better, you have to go back for another massage? And you keep doing it, keep doing it, keep doing it, spending more and more, more, more money. Well, in the end, you actually lose money, waste energy, because the very issue that's causing the problem you're not actually focusing on, which is your emotional well-being, changing your thoughts. Your thoughts make their way through your body. Your nervous system is, is a neural hormonal highway for the mind. Now, I'm not going to go into what do you do. You could read a book, listen to audio, get some emotional counseling, parenting, you name it. But the bottom line is I just want to show you how, because I've shown you how physical problems can cause physical problems. Nutritional issues can cause physical problems, like with food intolerances, food allergies, causing joint pain because of the protein immune response, and synovial fluids have proteins in them, but also how emotions can cause physical pain. And we see this all the time. He talks about in his book the very first place your body will actually lay these adhesions because of an emotional response in the muscle spindles is the levator scapula and upper traps. That's right here. So if you have shoulder pain, if you have know someone that has shoulder pain, they're constantly getting it worked on. Now, it could be physical, could be nutritional, could be trauma, could be postural. But at the same time, if it's not working, look into the emotional. So, hopefully you enjoyed something. I'll be back in a couple more days for another great YouTube. Thanks for tuning in. Check out our website, eastwesthealing.com. Call for your free consultation. I'm out.